are the risks of conscious sedation? With all medication that we give, there are risks and we do our best to mitigate those risks. That's why you have it with trained personnel. With sedation, uh, it can inhibit, so some people react differently to sedation. So one of the things that can do, it can make you quite sleepy and move from a conscious sedation to more of a quite sleepy state. Quite sleepy state can make it difficult for people to breathe sometimes. And that's when your doctor will take some actions, for example, putting oxygen, or even in the worst case scenario, if you stop breathing, they will have to do something about it, like taking over your breathing. Very rare, but it might happen. Normally conscious sedation is also combined with other medications, very strong painkillers like opioids. And again, you can see, you have here things like, you know, opioid overdose or things like that. And these can happen. If they happen, luckily there are some medication to reverse that. That's why you need to do it in a medical environment with qualified people. So this is some of the risks of sedation. The other risks are dropping your blood pressure, making you woozy after you leave the hospital, fall, break something. So that's why we go through rigorous process of checking what medications you take, your medical history, and making a judgment.